Hi, welcome back to the Backpacker Coach. Today I wanted to talk to you about something very important and it's um, buying the sleeping bag that's right for you and also learning how to find the right temperature of what the real temperature is of a sleeping bag. Um, that's something that <clears throat> is not really shown out there and I wanted to show you how to find that so no matter what sleeping bag you have, um, you will know how to actually rate it so you know whether it's going to work for you and no matter what condition. So um, before I do that though, I kind of want to tell you a little story about kind of how I've grown up through um, camping and how I kind of came to where I was at. So if you look back at uh, the photos way back a long time ago, that's me there. Um, you can see I started out when I was very young. I really loved backpacking or I loved camping and I loved um, the whole thing. I grew up, you know, camping. You can see the next picture and the next one. Um, I grew up camping. I loved it. There was one problem I had, and that was I was always cold. Um, no matter what happened, I seemed to always, always be cold. And this is, remember, this is Colorado summer camping, not winter camping. Um, maybe, you know, close to fall, maybe, or you know, maybe the beginning of season, but for the most part, it was summer camping and I was freezing cold. So I wanted to go over with you some of the problems um, that, that I faced, and then I wanted to go over with you the solutions and then how to come about with the correct numbers. Um, <clears throat> so as you know, I had gone um, camping through the years and I was always cold. And um, I finally decided, okay, I'm going to buy a really nice synthetic um, sleeping bag. So I went out and I got a zero degree um, synthetic sleeping bag. I thought, man, this should work for great. Everything that I was going to do at the time, um, I wasn't really sleeping or doing the whole um, winter camping yet, but, you know, I was doing fall. And uh, so I figured this will certainly suit me just fine. So anyway, on one of my hunting trips that I had done, it uh, got down to uh, 19 degrees. And I thought, well, this shouldn't be a problem. I, you know, my sleeping bag is rated to zero and I froze my butt off. Um, I was very cold. Um, and if you, when we go through um, the sequence of figuring out how um, to rate a sleeping bag, you'll see that my, my zero degree synthetic sleeping bag is pretty much rated to 40 degrees. Um, so you'll see why that is and find out that a synthetic sleeping bag just doesn't cut it um, and it definitely doesn't cut it for winter camping um, let alone summer or fall so that's what I wanted to go over with you on how to choose the right sleeping bag so you do not get cold and so you won't be miserable no matter what the temperature is okay so the first problem I had was I had a cheap sleeping bag um, the second problem I had was I had a synthetic sleeping bag. The third problem was I didn't know how to find the true limit of my sleeping bag that I had. Okay, so the first solution is to buy a quality sleeping bag. Um, that pretty much means, you know, you don't go down to Walmart and pick out yourself a sleeping bag. Um, those are cheap junk bags and you're not going to find anything that's going to keep you warm um, except for maybe sleeping inside the house. So the next solution is to buy a down sleeping bag. Um, I have found that down just keeps you warmer. It's plainly just that simple. As well as down will also pack down um, smaller and as well it's lighter. So it's like you can't go wrong with any of those things and that helps. And now solution three is learn how to find the true limit of any sleeping bag. And that's what we want to go over next. So how do we find this mystical number? The one that they seem to always give you when you will buy a sleeping bag. And it says, you know, zero or 32 degrees or whatever. And so I wanted to help you figure out um, <clears throat> what that number really is as opposed to what the manufacturer says. Um, so if you look at that first screen, we have kind of a comfort rating and then we're going to figure out the, the true limit of the sleeping bag 
and then also there's an upper limit to what um, you will survive but you will not um, definitely not be warm but you will live so I wanted to go over that all right the first thing you have to know is uh, what temperature you're going to be sleeping in so I'm going to be using um, the Colorado Rockies in the winter time so the average for that place is about 10 degrees to about minus one so that's what we're going to use so the next part is you need to have what your temperature rating of your sleeping bag is or what you're going to be um, looking at buying for um, whatever rating it is and in this case I'm going to be using a zero degree um, down sleeping bag um, reason why is because I want to <clears throat> excuse me I would like to um, emulate um, what a lot of people buy for their first winter sleeping bag because once you go past zero degrees they do get to be very expensive and so people typically start and they buy a zero degree bag and I will kind of show you why that's not such a good idea um, so so there we are we're gonna start at a zero degree bag and so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take off um, 10 degrees that's the very first thing so now if you look at the top we have the air temperature and the bottom we have the sleeping bag rating now you can see already that the zero is at the 10 degrees so if you look at the next slide you can see the average temperature for winter is already at 10 degrees or colder so you know <clears throat> that it's going to be easily 10 degrees or much colder than that probably colder so what do you think is going to happen you're going to be cold because you want to be somewhere in the minus five um, somewhere area to be you want to always be above that average okay so next what you want to do is if you are a woman or a cold sleeper you know, take off another 10 degrees so there now you see the zero and if you look up now it's a 20 degree sleeping bag okay so next um, if you buy a a good synthetic sleeping bag take off 20 more degrees now if you look up at the if you look at the zero and look up now your zero degree bag is only a 40 degree bag now we're starting to get into where you're going to be really cold if you go uh, winter backpacking um, with that kind of bag okay next now if you buy a cheap synthetic sleeping bag you take another 10 degrees off now you are at 50 degrees for a rating temperature not zero so look where we're at we see the average winter temperature in Colorado is about what did we say before we said about 10 degrees to about minus one and where is it rated at the top 50 now that is not good you would definitely freeze to death if you had something like that that would not work at all that's nowhere close to even a survivable rate so that is not good that's why I don't use synthetic at all so I wanted to go and let's look at um, my sleeping bag my uh, minus 15 degree bag and I wanted to go through the steps to show you um, where mine is at so let's look at that and see there's my starting at minus 15 degrees so we're going to take um, 10 degrees off and see there okay now it's a minus five degree bag now if you look at that screen now look once again we're looking at the average temperature from about 10 to minus one I'm still above that average temperature so minus five so I'll know if the temperature gets down to minus five then past that 
the sleeping bag is not going to work very well. But as long as the temperature is below minus 5, I know that I should be plenty warm and it, the bag will work very well. So that's pretty much another rule to keep in mind, that you want to at least have at least 5 degrees of temperature between your average um, so you are you have that little bit of leeway so when it does get colder you're not right at the edge um, of that average because you know that an average is an average and it's going to at some point can it go colder than that so that is another very important thing okay folks so here's my recommendation if you're going to be camping in anywhere for the temperatures of you know 10 degrees to you know minus one I would suggest buying a minus 15 degree bag if you're a normal sleeper with temperature wise um, I would definitely always recommend getting a minus 15 degree bag um, that way you will stay warm um, and now if you are a cold sleeper or if you're a woman um, sleeping in the the great um, white north I definitely you're gonna have to go up probably um, closer to a minus 20 or maybe minus 25 degrees to stay warm but you will actually stay warm and it is possible to stay warm as long as you buy the right equipment that is something that I've heard over and over again with people camping not winter time but even the summertime that they're always cold and it's because they're not properly buying the correct equipment if they would know this this little chart that we've just gone through they would stay warm because you would buy the proper sleeping bag for what works so that is how it works and I hope this is very useful to you and uh, please leave me your comments